Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and it's here, the Taste of Universal. Universal Studios Hollywood just announced, well, they didn't kind of announce it, that leaked on their website, um, on the special events page, that a Taste of Universal is coming. It's coming really soon, March 12th. Again, it's only nine days away. That's next Friday. Tickets will be $44, which is literally on par with... Knott's Bay Farm officially making Disneyland the most expensive food festival out there. Um, they'll be about four to four to $49 plus tax. It'll be a weekend's only event. It'll include five food or beverage items. So again, at $44, we'll get you five food tabs. Again, like Knott's on the, the your Sip and, Sip and Savior type pass. And tickets for age, kids ages 3 to 9 will cost $25 plus tax. and include three selections. The menu will, uh, will gonna, is going to include traditional favorites and new features selected by a col- culinary team. Um, as I mentioned before in uh, yesterday's video, Universal's on Twitter account has been saying uh, they're looking forward to this week because they're going to announce something. And here's the announcement. Well, yeah, again, it was an official announcement, but it's been leaked. And as suspected, only the upper lot will be av- available for this event, but... It'll be the entire upper lot, so it's going to include Springfield and the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Um, and uh, you'll be able to go into the merchandise, the retail stores. Um, same type of thing with Knott's, and again, now Disney with the touch of Disney. And it's been so long, it seems like forever, but Universal is going to have their Top Chef, Bravo's Top Chef Food and Wine Festival, which have been Universal Studios Hollywood's first ever food and wine event. Before the pandemic started um, in April, it was supposed to be in April, but of course the park closed, so they can have it. So this will be their food event, but I can't wait um, to see what type of food Universal has offered, because Universal, Universal has never done one of these before. Um, so it'll be super exciting, and it'll be awesome in the future to officially see that Bravo Top Chef Food and Wine Festival, um, and Peacock Live, stuff like that. Things that were supposed to happen, hopefully those will happen later on this year or next year i'm excited for that tickets are not on sale yet because uh universal hasn't officially announced it but when they do go on sale you'll uh you'll be the first one i'll tweet about it and you can buy tickets on their website again 44 to 49 dollars plus tax it's going to start next friday which is march 12th and be weekends only i assume through until the park can reopen so maybe like April, May, June at the latest, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited for this. I'm not only do I used to walk into Universal Studios Hollywood again, which I have been wanting to do for so long, I get a much, much better look at Super Nintendo World, which instead of just being in the Sheraton, I'll be able to get you guys a Super Nintendo World construction update from Super Silly Funland. Hopefully, hopefully I don't close off the smoking area or something. But, um... That'd be quite nice if we can do that. And also, I can gawk at Secret Life of Pets again. Because, oh my goodness. But something I really want to do is just sit in Hogsmeade and in front of Hogwarts and just listen to the music. I love the music they have in the whole park. But I really like the music that they play in, in front of Hogwarts, in front of Forbidden Journey. And, of course, in Hogsmeade. I, just, I can sit there for hours. And not even eat or drink anything, but just sit there. And just listen to the music. It's so nice and so immersive in there. So I cannot wait to get back into Hogwarts. But are you excited for this? Are you so happy? Are you finally ex- excited that Universal's finally doing a food festival to catch up with the rest of the theme parks that are doing something? Um, I've actually, every single theme park in SoCal, yeah, including Six Flags with the drive through is doing something. So it's glad to see Universal coming up here and doing on this little food festival i'll be there multiple times i'll probably be at universal's food festival more often than not more definitely more than the rest of the any other theme parks because it's the one closest to me and it's really it's not really it's not it's not a bad price it's 44 dollars no i'll definitely try to be there once every other weekend or so because that'll be pretty awesome but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you're going to be attending. If you're not going to be attending, then definitely subscribe because I'll be there as soon as March 12th so you can see what it's like. And, or again, if you're off, if you're on the fence about attending, 
If you still think forty five dollars is too much, you don't know what they're gonna offer. Know what they're gonna offer? Again, I'll be there next week. So subscribe to the channel and be sure to check out my video. They'll pop you up on Saturday, March thirteenth, and then maybe you guys will that persuade you in one way or another to go or to not go. But yeah, I'm super excited for this. I haven't been walked inside Universal in it will have been actually a year by that point. Um, cause March that was the weekend that um, the parks have closed that March 14th, March 12th weekend. So, dang, that's sad. But super excited for this and looking forward to more forward progress. So, that is awesome. And subscribe for more theme park updates. And have a fantastic day.